taking things personally or responsibly can either lift you up or bring you down. Hey, Sam Ferit here. I'm the founder of the Unique Mind Self-Improvement Academy, which means if you are here, then you are somebody who is looking for more success. You are somebody who is constantly looking for becoming the best version of yourself. I admire and encourage people like you, so keep it up. Now, very important topic that I want to cover with you today. Um, it's, been, it's been going on a lot in the society, almost happening on a daily. I personally have experienced uh, taking things personally. Taking things personally usually is caused by two main uh, reasons. Number one, rejection. Nobody likes to be rejected. Everybody hates to be rejected, okay? Whether it's that phone call you made, they hung up on you. Um, whether it's that deal you try to close, the customer didn't want to sign up with you. Or that girl you try to approach, she didn't want to talk to you. Uh, the guy that didn't call you back, didn't respond back to your text. Uh, somebody ignored your call. Uh, the cashier lady was rude to you. It's rejection. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes not to be accepted. But the point is not to think of it as you did something wrong or something was, was wrong that you said, but it's mainly you take responsibility for it than taking things personally. Because you don't know what that person is going through. Maybe he's having a bad day or she's having a bad day. You know, anything, anything wrong could happen, uh, might have happened to them that it's not your fault. But taking responsibility means you control the situation. You do not let that negative energy to transfer into you and take that home with you. Take that negative energy to work with you, whether you dump it on your coworkers or dump it on your family members, okay? So taking responsibility, responsibility means to control the situation, okay? Realizing that, hey, maybe that person is having a bad day. It's not always me, okay? So do not try to respond back with the same attitude, okay? Do not hold uh, uh, criticism against that person. Do not come back with negative energy. If you do respond the same way they responded to you, then you've been infected by their attitude. Keep it cool, keep it calm, and stay positive about it. Number two is judgment. They're gonna judge you. People always judge. They're gonna judge your skills, they're gonna judge your ideas, they're gonna judge the way you dress, they're gonna judge the way you act, they're gonna judge the way you talk, okay? It's okay, it's natural, it's normal, okay? If you're somebody who, who, who has a uh, creative mind, they're gonna call you crazy. If you're somebody who likes to uh, sing, play sports, wanna be a star, they're gonna think you dream too much. If you're somebody who has skills to do something, they're gonna think that's all you do. Okay, so judgment is just based on opinions. Opinions comes from perspective, the way people view things. And that comes from the experience that they go through in life. And for that, you cannot control what people think of you. But what you can control is the situation, which is taking responsibility of how you carry yourself. My advice for you, my friend, is don't overthink it. Do what is right for you, do what it feels right for you, and keep moving forward. Sooner or later, you will know that whether you should change a certain aspect of your uh, behavior or your action, or maybe, no, you were right, move on. Not all negative feedbacks are bad, okay? Negative feedback sometimes is just an opportunity for you to grow. Sometimes somebody's really looking up for you and want to let you know about something that, hey, uh, heads up about certain things. I'm gonna wrap it up real quick and leave you with one thing. And you might not like it because uh, it's ugly, but it's the truth. Taking things personally is a sign of low self-esteem. It's disempowering and it can lower your self-esteem. I want to know uh, your story or your experience last time you were rejected or took things personally and how did you end up taking responsibility over the situation? How did that impact your day? Because that does determine whether 
you, your day flows smoothly or maybe you start contracting height then become that introverted type of person because of one bitter experience that you go through and with that being said i hope you, you you've made that shift after watching this video and if you like this video make sure you hit the like button below subscribe and share it with your friends thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next video